In multispectral imaging, uh, we thought the, the simplest, most straightforward approach would be to use a broadband light source like a tungsten, familiar tungsten bulb, uh, and then put filters in front of the camera to sim simply block everything that we didn't want to be measured by the camera. What we found was that putting components between the object and the camera led to a degradation of the of the images, a loss of clarity in the images. We decided then that it made far more sense uh, to move the filters to the other side of the system to filter the, the light that being used for illumination, so before it interacted with the leaves uh, of the manuscript. That had the added benefit that it also meant less light impinged on each leaf, and so we've limited the potential for any kind of photo damage. And uh, as often happens in sort of one-of-a-kind projects, we discovered there was nothing available for us to do this multispectral imaging uh, that could furnish the wavelengths that we wanted uh, with all the spatial characteristics that we needed as well. Uh, so I went out and started looking around for existing devices, asking how could they be utilized or modified so we could meet our needs. LEDs uh, are increasingly familiar. You see them in everyday objects. The dashboard of your car has tens of LEDs. Uh, even the brake lights in your car are LEDs. Um, what's unique about them is that you can easily get narrow band light. The ones we've chosen are just coming out to meet more than the usual uh, indicator light applications. These put out enough power and in enough different wavelengths to make multispectral imaging quite convenient. I did design this board and I, uh, and I tailored it precisely to what we had in mind in this project. There are a number of uh, issues. Uh, one is to get uniform uh, illumination across the leaves of the parchment. Here we've got six LEDs of each wavelength and they're rather far apart. Um, you'll notice that I haven't added any optics above uh, each LED. So I'm relying in part on the spatial distribution of the light sources to give us uniformity several uh, feet away. Um, another important feature of the LEDs is that the wavelengths emitted by each different color are very much different from each other, that there be no overlap in their wavelengths that they emit. A third important factor is that we have enough power that we get images uh, with sufficient contrast and signal-to-noise ratio to allow us to apply the mathematical processing that we do later. 